alone, Bracco. If Vito knew about this, he'd... Vito? That blob can't even protect himself. It's only a matter of time before Rogan the Butcher punches your fat meal ticket for good. You better start thinking about the future, girl. When Vito's gone, you'll need new friends. Captain, thank goodness. I could use your help here. Throttle down, boys. Word is, Rogan the Butcher has his eye on Serena. That's right, Bracco. You don't want to get on Rogan's bad side. He's already scoping on his future trophies, huh? Figures. It just proves Vito ain't long for this world. Let's go, guys. Thanks for stepping in, Captain. I was so frightened. Luckily, those boys were pretty gullible. Bluff? Huh. It's closer to the truth than I want to admit. What Bracco said was true. Rogan the Butcher will kill Vito if those blasters don't turn up. I hope whatever course of action you're pursuing pays off, Captain. More lives than your own depend on it. Everything will be alright. Trust me. Hearing you say it makes me believe it. I'll be sure to keep out of harm's way from now on. Finally! I thought you'd never get back. Tell me you've got those Separatist files. Those Separatists never knew what hit them. I hate missing all the fun. Next time I want to go. You did good, Captain. Corso found us a terrific little slicer kit, so we're ready to decrypt that data. We'll know where to find Skavik soon, but until then, I've got a special job that only you can do. Until I get my ship back, my schedule's pretty open. I have an exciting opportunity for us to all stay alive. I need you to keep Rogan the Butcher off our backs. Cyrena stalled him earlier, but it's not enough. We need to distract Rogan by giving him something he really wants. A canister of some special chemicals from a nearby village. The big boom run? Are you kidding, boss? I can see it making Rogan's day, but it's blasted risky. All I care about is finding Skavik and getting back what's mine. If we don't get Rogan off our backs, you won't get the chance to do that. Hear me out. There's a loopy scientist with a chemical that can supercharge artillery cannons and makes them do more damage. But it's less stable than a drunk savrip on a speeder bike. Handle it wrong, and suddenly you're little chunks of ex-captain. Sure, it's tricky, but you've got the skill to get it here. Did I mention this run pays unbelievably well? Just how unbelievably well are we talking about? You do this, and you can buy some nice upgrades for your starship, when you finally get it back. Trimbo is the scientist's name. Got a place in Oradem Village. I'll let him know you're coming. See me before you make that run, Captain. We should talk. Captain, the big boom run isn't a stroll on the beach. You'll need an edge to make it back alive. This here is a Sorosub SSK Heavy Blaster. It's got for a quick draw and got a hair trigger. I call it Flashy. Flashy's the first blaster I ever owned. I want you to have it. Like I always say, never look a free blaster in the barrel. I'll breathe a lot easier knowing you're ready for anything.
Kiho Lakota. Only Topi. Strange place for a protocol droid. It's horrible, just horrible. They're barbarians. They've killed them all, and now my mistress is in terrible danger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up and start over. My mistress and I were on assignment for the Republic Corps of Engineers at Fort Garnick. Our team was sent to repair a malfunctioning power generator. We were attacked by armed men. Separatists, I think. I only got away because they didn't consider me a threat. My mistress is still up there. I fear for her life. Please, you must rescue her. We'll see. My schedule is pretty tight. Please, who knows how long she'll last?
Don't be afraid. Your droid sent me. I'm here to rescue you. Where were you when those savages were slaughtering my co-workers? Forget it. I've got bigger problems right now. I was sent here to complete a mission, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ugh. I can't do this without tools. This generator supplies power to Fort Garnick. It's been sabotaged. It overheats in the fort's defenses, the infirmary. They'll all go down. People are going to die. I could lend a hand if you need one. Our equipment was scattered in the attack. I can hold the generator steady, but I need my tools and the liquid coolant to fix it. I'll try to find them for you. Move fast. We don't have a lot of time. Fantastic. The temperature is already dropping. We'll be at full power in a few minutes. You did a good thing. Thank you. It's all taken care of, except for the part where you pay me. You deserve something for your trouble. Thanks again.
Hey, what's this then? Another wower looking to make a little scratch on the side, I'll bet. What'll it be then? Running or betting? This is a blasted minefield. Whoa, whoa, we got ourselves a smart one. Everyone look out. Captain Intellect here is gonna wow and amaze ya. Ignore this moron. He thinks he's clever. Lucky for him he's so handsome or he'd be no use at all. We've got a little obstacle course here. You can run the course or you can bet on other runners. Mostly the refugees run, but you're welcome to play too. What do I get if I win? Credits! Fabulous credits! Look, these poor sods have nothing, and we don't have enough supplies for even half of them. So we let them gamble. The credits help pay for more supplies, and when one of the refugees gets lucky, they get enough gear to really help them out. I don't imagine you get a lot of people running this course twice. Not everyone who loses dies. Yeah, some of them are just really, really injured. We even have some veterans who keep coming back for more. Anyway, do you want to bet or run the course to see Ensign Peters? He'll get you set up. Your conduct is disgusting. Wait until your superiors hear about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go tattle all you want. I'm sure that drunk ethics officer at Fort Guernick is going to care. Drag, shut up. What? No, yeah. Uh, never mind. Forget about that. Uh, you there. You got a second? Talk politics, talk shop, talk business maybe? I've got business to talk if you're interested in talking. Name's Gizmelgan. I'm with the government here. So what do you say? Interested in doing a little work for me? Uh, for you. For the Republic. I don't work for free, you know. There's a fair amount of pay involved. Not a lot, mind you. These are tough times, but this is important and well worth the reward. Here's the situation. I look after one of the outlying villages, and this village is, well... Faltering in its love of the Republic. People are restless, see? The Separatists bring them stuff, and they start thinking the Separatists are right. Then they get uppity, start talking about revolt, start getting violent. It's chaos everywhere. You need me to shoot some villagers? Shooting villagers is no way to win their hearts. I figure the best way to win the village over is to beat the Separatists at their own game. Lavish the villagers with gifts. Show them we care, too. So I ordered a shipment of supplies. But now I get word the shipment's lost out in Savrip territory. I need someone to go get it. Well, that should be easy enough. Fine. Good. That's all I ask. Have a look. The shipment had a droid escort, I believe, so I'd look for that if I were you. It was last seen on Savrip Island. Savrips, you know. Massive, vicious beasts. Eat you for dinner as soon as look at you. You must be here for my husband. I told Master Vidu he's gone out fishing. Would you like a sweet flat cake instead? It's fresh. I don't need your husband. Just those fancy chemicals he makes. Where does he keep them? Oh, he took his work with him. My butternut gets bored unless he has a dozen things to occupy him. If you don't feel like waiting for Trimbo, the walk out to him is lovely. The beach is so relaxing. Trimbo's at his fishing camp. He'll be thrilled to have some company. And now, excuse me, dearie. These rhodium peppers won't cook themselves.
please, I'm, I, I'm at the end of my rope. Soldiers, soldiers beat me, took my belongings, my daughter. Damn soldiers. They can't trust them. Who can you trust? Please help. My, my daughter means everything to me. Help me get my daughter back. Help. What else do you know? They... They were headed toward the fort. Please, please find my daughter. I'll see this through. I promise. Please. Hurry. I, I, I want to see my daughter again. Best prices this side of the galaxy. You check. Appreciate your business. Take a look at the stock. What can I get you? Appreciate your business. For efficient business only. Here. The Separatists are spread all over these planes, and they'll shoot at anything standing straight. You got blasters, vibroblades, something to keep you alive long enough to be useful? Maybe I do, and maybe I don't. Let me put it this way. I've been on Ord Mantel six months. I've lost two fingers, six squad mates, and more credits than I want to think about. Now, we've got Separatists planting jamming beacons all over the island, and our supply ships are crashing down on our heads. Good times, right? But I've got a plan. I may not have a team, or weapons, or a commanding officer who knows what he's doing, but I can still get those beacons blown up. You know why? Because I've got access to the discretionary funds, and I'll pay you to do my job. You can fight past the Separatists and the Mines and the Beasts, not me. Make me an offer, and I'll think about it. I'll pay you enough credits to do my job, plus something extra. Here's the data on the beacon locations. If you're going to help, sooner is better, but I'll take whatever I can get. And hey, I'm not really trying to get you killed. I want those beacons gone, so watch out, will you?
Mechanized travel is for official business only. Don't stand there. That spot is reserved exclusively for my Gundark friends. You're clearly not a Gundark. Your ears are too small. Listen, do you smell that? There's a pot of Alderanian stew bubbling. But how could I smell it all the way on Ord Mantel? Vidu sent me to pick up a canister of chemicals from you. What's a Vidu? Some kind of musical instrument? Is, is, is that what keeps playing that awful tune I can't get out of my head? Hmm, I do recall a man saying to expect a stranger coming for my chemicals. You seem pretty strange. Was he talking about you? You've inhaled a lot of chemicals, haven't you? Did my wife tell you that? She's been dead 20 years now. Don't listen to her. People haven't had much luck getting my chemicals. Know why? Those Ugnot assassins in the woods attack everyone who visits me. Ugnot assassins? Don't you mean separatists? Who do you really think controls the separatists? Those crafty little swine, that's who. But we can beat them. What you really need is a precision teleporter. But a former assistant crashed my prototype into the sun. Good luck, my friend. If you should explode, please feel free to come back and tell me all about it. Everyone else has. to a pinky. Only topi. he does it. I've got a storage unit here to stabilize the canister so it doesn't blow. There we go. That's something you'll want to handle real careful, like. Don't worry. This canister's safer than a senator's daughter in a room full of Jedi. Getting Trimbo's chemicals saved our neck, Captain. Rogan will be too busy selling them to think about the blasters. Separatists sure seem interested in getting that canister. Maybe we should let them have some. They might blow themselves up. I've got good news and great news, Captain. We cracked the Separatist computer files and found Skavik. Vidu, you promised you wouldn't get too excited. It isn't good for your heart. Sorry, sweetheart, but this is going to be great! Skavik won't even see us coming! Ha! Does Skavik still have my starship? Your ship and the blasters. Great, huh? We'll get back everything he stole all at once. Skavik is taking the blasters to the Separatist base. Those wackos built their headquarters inside an old volcano. Crazy, huh? What do you expect from foaming at the mouth murderers? I wish that volcano would blow its top. 
Stavik's delivering the blasters to a psycho named Darek at the base. You need to get there first. When Skavik shows up, you can ambush him, grab your ship, and fly back here. Easy, huh? You're about to see a real live hero in action. Make that two heroes. I'm not sending you alone. Take Corso with you, Captain. The kid knows more about blasters and vibroblades than anybody I've ever met. I owe Skavik payback for taking Torchy. That was lower than low. It'll be nice to have some backup out there. <laughs> Glad you think so. Then it's a deal. You two head for the Separatist base, kill Darig, and ambush Skavik when he shows up. I've got a bottle of Chandralin brandy to open when you get back. I'm just looking forward to getting back into space. I'd wish you two good luck, but I don't want to jinx anything. Just come back in one piece. Keep this quick and quiet, shall we? I'm Milo Phipps, Strategic Information Service, former senator, one-time governor of Dantooine. You do confidential work, don't you? You've probably heard about the Separatist base up in the volcano. Well, the Republic needs someone to do some work there, confidentially. Make me an offer? No, think about it. Oh, you'll be well compensated. Have no doubts about that. Like I said, I represent the Republic here on Ord Mantell, and an item has come up that I think you can help us with. But it will require you to break into the Separatist base and take out their toughest guards. If I'm going to take all the risks, the pay better be good. It will be. You think the Republic's stingy? Let me stress that this is a very sensitive matter. The Republic promised protection to a pirate a few months back, a pirate with whom we share common enemies. Recently, those enemies, the Separatists, captured that pirate and are holding him at their base. We need someone to free him. Why does the Republic want to free a pirate? I know, I know. Better to lock them up and throw away the key, right? Wrong. This pirate knows enough to end this war, at least on Ord Mantell. This pirate approached us with information on the Separatists and their operations in exchange for protection from the same. His relationship with them went sour, see? But the Separatists got to him before we did. The Republic promised protection. I'm asking you to keep that promise by breaking him out. Can you do it? I'll handle that. Good. Thank you. That's what I expect from a true citizen of the Republic. Go speak to my man at the entrance to the fort, Lieutenant Bendick. He'll fill you in on the details. If it weren't for Fort Garnet. Freelancer, I hear you've been mucking up the Separatist plans. Don't know what your investment in this war is, but we need all the help we can get. This Separatist business on Ord Mantell has gone on long enough, don't you think? You can't walk two paces on this planet without getting shot at! Can't say I'd recommend anyone doing business here, no matter how tough. 
My boys could use some support out at the SEP stronghold, trying to secure the landing area so we can bring more troops in. But resistance is heavy, and they're taking a beating. You're not under my command, but I'd appreciate if you report to Sergeant Vandal and lend a hand. What's the upside for me? Republic doesn't ask a civilian to put himself in danger without reward. Help us, and you'll be compensated. Like I said, Sergeant Vandal's running the mission. I'll let the beach camp know you're coming. Ah, oh, great. So that blasted bureaucrat Milo finally found someone naive enough to want to free that damn pirate Veeam set. This is just business. Got it? Seems everyone on Ord Mantell has a price. Veeam set is filth. Bloodthirsty, ruthless filth. And he's a war criminal. His ships have been screwing up Republic supply routes for years. Countless people have died because of him. He took out my brother's battle cruiser. Killed thousands more. The Republic should be planning his head on a stake, not offering him protection. When you put it that way, I see your point. Didn't realize this guy was a murderer. You're starting to talk sense then. But there's a simple enough solution. The Republic knows this is a difficult mission. They won't be surprised if there's a little slip, a little accident. And since, you know, I'm in charge of payroll here, I could throw in a nice, healthy sum to sweeten the deal. If you, say, accidentally killed this pirate. So you're going to kill him or what? You can't buy me off. Seat yourself. Maybe you'll have a change of heart when you meet this son of a sow. Damn pirates. The pirate's being kept in the holding cell in the Separatist's base. You'll have to figure out the rest. I get the feeling you'll know what to do when you get there. Good luck. Great. Let me guess. Ethics violation? Bad people doing bad things and it made you sad? Every day the same scrag, day in, day out. Why me? Aren't you the ethics officer? Right. So that means I have to be the moral compass for an entire army of degenerates? Beth, so what do you want? Do you have any idea what the soldiers have found to bet on? You mean the minefield run, don't you? With those wretched refugees. That minefield game has been shut down for months. I made sure of that personally. I was just there. And it's definitely still running. You mean they started it back up? Without me finding out? Blast it. Those... I'll take care of this. Don't you worry. Here. There's a uh, standing reward of credits for squealers. I mean, <laughs> I mean information gatherers. This planet needs serious help. You don't know the half of it. Come on, get in here on the double. We don't have all day. I already told you. I don't know anything. I swear. Sure, that's what you said last time we talked. But now I'm thinking maybe you just didn't have enough incentive to tell the truth. Hey, what are you doing here? You're not allowed in here. This is a top secret operation. Top secret, eh? 
illegal, more like. You should talk, scum, considering the sort of things your kind does. We serve the Republic. He's lying. They've kidnapped us. They're torturing us. Shut up! Please, you have to stop them. They're torturing us. I said shut up! She's a traitor to the Republic. She deserves what she gets. But the courts are full, you see, and so justice needs a little help. If that means Republic soldiers have to twist a few arms, so be it. You're mixed up in some bad business. Torture is a legitimate tool of warfare. Do you think the Separatists won't use it? Do you think the Empire won't use it? These wretches have been caught, every last one of them, doing work for the Separatists. They are traitors. And more importantly, they have information on Separatist movements. All we're doing is coaxing it out of them. Information that will save so many Republican Mantellian lives. Who care how we got it? I'll care. And I'll make sure your superior cares, too. Look, we don't like having to do this, but what are our choices? Listen, you take this ring back to this girl's daddy and tell him it's all you could find of his little girl. The ring's got a listening device in it. We'll be able to gather all the evidence we need without resorting to these unsavory means. Got it? This charade of justice ends now. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. The last thing we need in here is a shootout, all right? What the little traitor so bad find, take her. The only people you're helping are the Separatists. Thank you. Thank you for freeing me. It... it was terrible. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. It seems like it's nothing but corruption on Ord Mantell these days. Good to see you're an exception. I'm glad I was around to help out. And I'm just glad you were here. Thank you so much. Tapola. 